Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. Ooh, this hair is amazing. Okay, I am gonna be working on an epoxy tumbler today. It's my very first one. <laughs> I'm nervous, I'm excited. This hair is outrageous. It is Monday, wahoo. Okay, so, hold on one second. Let me get the feed popped up on my computer just in case I see any comments i can answer them as we go all right so we are going to be doing an epoxy tumbler my very first one so over the weekend i showed you the new super tight uh two-part epoxy love this stuff but i normally do it for all of my acrylics right here and i've been wanting to do an epoxy tumbler and now's the time to do it because i found an epoxy that i love 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 so much so step one is, is grabbing a tumbler. Now I have a laser cutter that has a rotary or an engraver that has a rotary attachment to it. And I have a bunch of these just laying around. They have like bad engravings on them. So instead of throwing them away, I think I'm just going to epoxy and glitter over the top of these. I've never done an epoxy tumbler before and now I'm just gonna do a cover up. That's what's going on here. So I have that have my epoxy. I have a paintbrush to paint on my paint. I'm going to paint it purple. This is the color that I'm choosing. And then I have some purple glitter, like fine glitter. And then I also have like purple chunky glitter that I got at Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. Like this stuff was super cheap. So hopefully I got the right glitter. I don't know. Um, the other thing that I got is this stuff off Amazon. And it's like, it came in like a box like this and it's like to mix your epoxy with and like, they're all stuck together. But anyway, so like got some of these, I got my silicone brushes to like stir it up with, um, some, they also have like silicone stir sticks too. So I guess I really don't need to brush. I don't know. Again, have never tried this. So if you've tried this, let me know if I'm missing anything. The other thing that I got too off Amazon, um, I got a like used, you know when you can buy those like used or gently used off eBay. Anyways, it's one of these like, it's already been returned or something. It looks brand new. I got one that was like used but in like new condition. I think it was like $15, $14, it was cheap. Anyway, it is a tumbler this right here a tumbler turner anyway oh there's assembly probably should have read the directions before i did this but there's some assembly required into this luckily i don't really need that because i'm pretty sure when it comes i've done enough research to know tumbler or glitter epoxy um tumblers you have to do step one which is paint this and glitter it and then um we have to come back for like tomorrow after it's dry or in like a few hours when it's dry to do the epoxy. So at least between now and then I can be able to assemble this thing because it's in, it's in little pieces. So when you get this tumbler from Amazon, it comes in like all these pieces and I guess you have to assemble it. It came with some gloves, which is good because I did not buy any. Um, these cups right here, it came with and they're hard plastic. I'm probably not going to use them because these are like a one-time use thing. Like if you don't clean that out, your epoxy is gonna harden it and then you have to throw it away. Anyway, oh, it also came with these like styrofoam things. So when I'm turning it, there we go. I can put that in there. Like that's pretty cool. Anyway, so this thing was like 12 bucks, 14 bucks or something like that off Amazon. I'll link it in the description of the video if you wanted to get it, but there's only one. I think this in, this company that makes this, you can buy like a few of them, two or three, two or three together. Oh, and I got some good old parchment paper, totally forgot. This is a necessity if you don't want to have glitter all <laughs> over your office or your craft area, which I don't want. So we are going to set aside the epoxy and the silicone stuff because we're going to do that like tomorrow when it's all dry. 
And all I'm gonna need is, is a tumbler and we're gonna start with the paint first. And I have this brush. So I've watched like enough tutorials to know that like brushing this on, you want it like nice and even. Um, so I got one of these brushes from Joann's. I'm sure if you had like an old concealer brush or like a foundation brush, I don't ever wear makeup, so I don't have any of those. But like one that like is nice and big and even strokes, I like that too. But like I said, I don't wear any makeup, so I don't have any of any of that at my house. But anyways, I'm gonna give this a good shake. This purple is the same purple that is on my actual rainbow wall here in the craft castle. So I'm just reusing what I have here. Like cheap crafter. Really the only thing that I had to buy was outside of the epoxy, which I already had, was that tumbler turner. The tumbler turner is a must. I don't think that you can do this project without having one. But, so you just want to Nicely paint this on. If you've done an epoxy tumbler and you know what you're doing, please let me know what if I'm doing something that is not correct. Because like I said, I have never, never, never done one of these before. The reason why I've never done one is because epoxy, the normal stuff that is out on the market, is so bad for your health. So, so, so bad for you. And I personally, I have gotten one glitter epoxy tumbler from somebody before and um, I could not even drink out of it. It gave me a super bad headache. So I've never been able to do, like play with epoxy or anything like that. But now that Super Tight has this epoxy, which is definitely safe for your body and for me to use, figured I should just do try my hand in this. Okay, so I definitely like this brush. This is like a nice, really, really nice brush. You can tell that like I'm barely putting any paint on, but there's like no paint streaks. It's all about the brush that you're using. The one that I have here, like this one right here, like there is no give to this and that probably not be a very good one to be using for something like this because you definitely don't want brush strokes. Brush strokes, not breast stroke. But the reason why <laughs> I'm actually really glad that this is working because I am using one of those, um, like these already engraved, but they're the engravings all messed up. So I'm using one of these like crappy tumblers that I already have here in my office. And I'm glad that the paint's like filling in all of the areas. So hopefully we can make this like messed up tumbler that I have not so messed up anymore. Man, let's see here. I'm just making sure that all of my paint is like nice and even and there's like no clumps of paint anywhere. Going around. I like this. Look pretty good. Oh, missed a spot. I should probably paint the bottom too, huh? But do you paint the bottom? <laughs> do you paint the bottom of this? And then when I done glittering it, how am I supposed to set this down? My hand is now in this. Crap. Ooh, hold on. Bah! This, I probably should have assembled it. This is what I need to have done. Okay, we'll do that. Since I haven't painted the bottom yet. This right here fits into this. Oh my gosh, that fits into this. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, this is how you do it. But I needed to assemble this. No, I still need to assemble this if I want to keep going. No or yes? I don't know. Oh. No, we could do it like this. So I'm confused. Hmm. 
Mm. How does this, man, this hole, like that doesn't work. I'll just like balance it. As long as the earth does not move, <laughs> there was no earthquake, it will balance and it won't move. I need like a bag of sand or something, like a rice, like some rice or something to hold this up. Okay, giving it one last good, making sure there's no empty spots because I definitely don't want, this is a black tumbler, so I don't want any of the black to come shining through because I'm going to be using purple glitter. You know what's weird is like, why do I have a whole lot of purple here? I have no idea. Like my logo is purple. Everything's purple. And purple's not even my favorite color, which is really weird. That, that has to be weird, right? Anyway, so now that my paint's dry just a little bit, I'm going to go back through and I'm just putting a little bit more paint on it just to make it wet again, because that's where I'm going to put the glitter. So I did not do like Mod Podge. Some people put Mod Podge down. Or I think other people also do epoxy, like a layer of epoxy and then put um, their glitter down. But because I needed to paint this, because it was a black tumbler, I just used like the color paint of the glitter that I'm using. Okay. All right, I think that's good. Ooh. Ooh, I missed that comment. Boop, doop. What does it say? What am I pressing? Ooh, goodness gracious. We'll go over to here. Same, I have tons of pink everywhere. Pink is totally not my favorite color. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm telling you. Um, pink used to be my favorite color, but I, I never even wear pink. Like I love the color pink, but you'll never catch me wear it or I don't have any tumblers or there's like not anything that I do that has pink in it. I would say white. I mean, hello, I'm in a white shirt. Uh, I love the color black. Are the, those aren't even colors. Those are, what are those are called? Shades? Not, not colors. Okay, so we're gonna, I need to figure out how I'm gonna balance this. Oh, okay, hold on. I got this. Hold on. The most random things I have in my mason jar I painted. Let's put that in there. That'll do. Look at that. Okay. So we're moving all this tumbler stuff over. Now I am going to just get all this paint off this brush. Squeegeeing out all the paint. And remind me to wash this brush out because this is a good brush. I want to keep this brush over. Close this paint up. I need to move fast. What if this dries? Okay, now let's throw some glitter onto it. I'm going to put you down so you can see what I'm doing. Um. There's that. Okay. There we go. Yep, that'll do. All right. So I am going to use this right here. This is from Michaels. It's like an old Michaels. I don't even know if they still have this. I don't generally buy any glitter because I am not a glitter person. But I'm excited to try this. Okay, so I'm just assuming that you're just gonna coat. We're gonna make this like super easy on myself. We're not gonna do like a pattern. We're not going to try and make things difficult. We are just gonna throw a single shade of glitter on a tumbler that was previously engraved with something that got messed up and hope that it turns out good in the future. Will I succeed? Will this be a new craft that I like doing? I don't know. 
I do like that because that brush that I was using, like it made everything super smooth. Like it, there's not one ripple in this. So I love that. So it's definitely all like the, the brush that you use definitely plays a factor in how smooth you can get your paint to go. Okay, I wonder if, okay, hold on. We'll put that, oops, put, ah! okay. <laughs> My goodness, glitter is such a pain and such a mess to work with. I'm gonna try, put this down. Okay, I'm going to use this stuff that I got at Hobby Lobby. This stuff I got at Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. It was on clearance. And like I said before, I am not a glitter person. Why in the world did I buy glitter for 99 cents? I don't know. I told myself I'll eventually use it, which, <laughs> okay. I don't know how old this is. It's pretty old, but at least I'm finally using it. Crafter life. You see something that's on clearance and you just go and buy it. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work because I already put, yeah, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work because it's already, or should I like, like that and press it in? What do you think? No, that's definitely not working. I'm just, oh no. <laughs> Don't do that either. Don't blow on it. This is what happens when you want to do like too many things. If we would have just stopped at one single purple color. Okay, going back over here. And we're just going, I'm just going to put more glitter over the top of it. Hopefully, it'll cover. Alrighty. What do we think? I think I like it. Just like this. We're just gonna do this. I think I've changed my mind. We're not gonna do two types of glitter. Maybe the next one I do, if this one turns out, maybe the next one I do, we'll have two colors of glitter. I'll make it more difficult, but let's just go with an easy one for right now, since I've never done it before. Okay, shaking on the bottom. All right, so this right here, is technically finished for right now. Hold on. So I'm gonna put this in here. Oh, did you see that shower? When I do it, it like showers. <laughs> ah! Okay. Oh my gosh. How can people do this for like a living? I need to shower now because I have glitter all over my hands, oh my goodness. Okay, so I have this tumbler like this in this mason jar. It's gonna be standing upright like that and I'm gonna leave it drying for until tomorrow. I'm gonna be back tomorrow and I'm going to do the epoxy layer. <sighs> Hopefully it'll be dry by then. It looks really good. Like step one, looks really, really, really good. So step two is like the hardest part of the project, which is epoxy. So hopefully it won't be that difficult tomorrow, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, but otherwise that step one is looking fine. Um, okay, so the other things that I bought, if you're just tuning in, the other things that I bought too that are for this is the epoxy right here. This stuff is amazing and it won't kill you which is great, there's no cancer warnings on it because it won't cause you cancer, yes. And then I got silicone like measuring cups off Amazon and also a tumbler turner. 
that I think was like 12 or $14 because I bought one of those like used like new ones, but I'll link the one that I bought um, and then we can epoxy together. <laughs> I don't know. Or if you've done epoxy before and you see me like messing up, let me know what I'm doing wrong because your girl needs help since it's, this is her very, very, very first epoxy anything besides acrylic. I like to put epoxy on acrylic, but that's it. All right, y'all. I will see you tomorrow when we go to step two and we do the epoxy. Bye.